What's up, YouTube? You're inside the edge, and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all the support so far. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. I will be reporting a lot more NFL content, NBA content. I will be posting a lot of college hoops as well. So college basketball, if you love college basketball, this is the channel for you guys. So with that being said, um, today I want to talk about the Patriots. I don't even know why I got a smile on my face because the Patriots has been playing so bad this year where it's like wherever you point at on this team, whether it's special teams, defense, offense, the offensive line, the receiving core that we have. I mean, you can point pinpoint, you know, every aspect of this team and there's just a problem in, in every single situation, guys. Um, I just seen a report. I didn't even know if I could, you know, I was probably going to do a separate video, but it looks like, you know, the Patriots released um, JC Jackson. Um, it looks like he's dealing with, you know, a lot of off the field issues. And um, it's just one of those things where, you know, this team is just falling apart, guys. With, you know, we've been plagued with injuries and just, you know, just everything happening offensively with Mac Jones is pretty much is what's hurting this team, guys. You know, the Patriots are not winning football games because the, the offense is not scoring enough points. Um, as of yesterday's game against the Colts, another scoreless touchdown game. This will be four games this season where Mac Jones has not thrown a touchdown. And this offense is just not putting up enough points to win. And clearly, clear as day, guys, Mac Jones cannot win his football games. Um, his talent isn't good enough to overcome the lack of, you know, the offensive line, you know, the receivers. Like, he just doesn't have enough talent to overcome all, the, all of that, guys. Um, he, clearly, guys, he just, it seems like whenever it's, it's tight in football games, it's like you're going to expect either a turnover with an interception or a turnover on downs or something like we just can't get the job done when it comes to you know full full quarter crunch time you know Mac Jones is just not our quarterback and we just have to go a new direction and I know Bill Belichick he's already thinking that Bill O'Brien is already thinking that probably Robert Kraft is already thinking about you know a new quarterback it has to happen in New England so here we are guys we are in week 10 the Patriots are two and two and eight and it just seems like, you know, the Patriots has to go a new direction at quarterback. You know, Bailey Zappi, um, I know he was kind of put in the fire with that two-minute offense. But again, uh, just another failed experiment, um, just another failed opportunity to win, guys. You know, this this football team just cannot win games. And um, one player I want to talk about is Will Guerrero. You know, this is one player that, um, you know, he's I think he was added onto the Patriots roster. I believe it was week five when he got added to this roster. And it still seems like he's trying to figure out, you know, this offense. He's still trying to get himself activated. He's still trying to learn the playbook. He, um, you know, he hasn't really been getting a lot of reps in practice, but hopefully that may change this week. Um, I definitely think there should be some, um, you know, quarterback competition between Bailey Zappi and Will Guerrero. Um, at this point, guys, we have nothing to lose. And I, I try to do a little bit of research on Will Guerrero as far as, um, you know, what has he done in the NFL and just kind of look at his resume, about guys, but it's not really much with Will Guerrero, you know, looking at him being drafted in the third round, but again, with the um, with the Panthers back in 2019, um, I believe he only played like about one game with the with the Carolina Panthers. And he and even career wise, I mean, I'm looking at his stats and he doesn't really have much to show for guys. I mean, he's only completed 53.6 percent of his passes. He's only thrown for 226 yards. He has no career touchdown passes and he has four interceptions. Um, so, I mean, this guy doesn't have the best resume, um, but I do think that he is somewhat of an upgrade for Mac Jones because, I, you know, him being listed at, you know, 6'4", 220 pounds, he's a lot bigger than Mac Jones. He seems like more of a physical, he, it seems like he just has more stature than Mac Jones. Um, he, he looks like he's more athletic. He's more of a better athlete than Mac Jones, I would say. So, I just think with Will Guerrero, I, you know, I think it's the same situation with Mac Jones. You know, they're both pocket quarterbacks, I, so I don't see... A different outcome between you know Will Guerrero or Mac Jones I think they're they're two similar players and um I just think with Will Guerrero all we want to see from him is all we want to see from him is consistency we want to see quarterback play we want to see a quarterback that can drop back in the pocket read his options look down the field you know be able to extend plays when the offensive line is collapsing don't just take a sack. Like, we need quarterback play, guys. So, with Will Guerrero, I can see that potential in him. Um, just based off of just the highlights that I did see from him from this season with the Dallas Cowboys. He did play in the preseason. He did get his reps. So, as far as what we've seen from preseason, guys, he definitely seems like a strong-arm quarterback. 
a guy that can zip it. Um, you know, he does have some mobility with his legs. Um, so I definitely think that he is a much of he's, he is much of an upgrade from Mac Jones. I would say as far as you know talent, um, I, I can't really judge as far as talent. But Will Greer is you know he seems like he's bigger, stronger, um, you know, quicker, faster. Um, you know, he definitely seems a little bit more talented than Mac Jones. So um, I just know it's it's going to be a long season for New England guys, and with Kendrick Bourne being out and just the inconsistency at receivers. It just doesn't make the quarterback position job any easier. So um, it looks like with New England guys, this bye week is going to be an opportunity to see who's going to be the quarterback moving forward. And at this point, it's on to next season, guys. It's all about the NFL draft. And all we can do for you, for New England fans, all we can do is think about the future, guys. All we can do is think about the future. You know, we have $100 million in, in cap space. Um, you know, we have, you know, possibly a fourth round draft pick. So... It's all about this offseason. It's going to be a whole lot of change in New England. So with that being said, guys, I don't want to make this video too long. I want to wrap it up. For, but for you Patriots fans, I want to you know drop a comment down below. How do you guys feel about the quarterback situation? How do you guys feel about Mac Jones? Um, you know, with Will Guerrero, do you think he should start versus the Giants? Do you think we'll beat the Giants? Um, again, guys, I'm going to be covering a lot of Patriots um, throughout the week. So be sure to subscribe and, you know, keep, keep me... Um, you know, drop a like, do all that good stuff, and, um, you know, get that notification, guys. And um, until next time, have a good day, guys. Be safe, and um, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Thanks, so